Eli Manning has already gone after comedians in a commercial, but some are saying his brother Peyton has gone too far by associating barbershop harmony with something undesirable and unpleasant. <laughs> Take a look. I sing with the four tunesmen. Cap Town ladies sing this song, doo-da, doo-da. Cap Town race tracks five miles long, oh, doo-da, day. Going around all night, all night, going around all day. All day I've been my money on the bucket yeah, night. Somebody bet on the bay, somebody bet on the bay, somebody bet on the bay. Don't be like this, me. <laughs> <laughs> and also, don't think Americans are so easily fooled. Despite the boater hats and the striped vests, that's not real barbershop. I asked Barbershop Harmony Society CEO Marty Monson to comment. This performance by Mr. Manning was not authorized by the Barbershop Harmony Society. Not only was it out of tune, but the melody was sung in the tenor part, a clear violation of the rules of the barbershop style. A clear violation. Uh -huh. I think the judges have spoken. The question is, with Manning insulting a great American art form, how is it that his appeal to advertisers is so much higher than that of champion Tom Brady? Last year, Manning took in 12 million in endorsements to Brady's 7 million. That is downright un-American. Okay, Ben, is there any excuse for this? Well, I have to say I love Peyton Manning solely because he owns, like, every Papa John's in Colorado. <laughs> and I'm a huge <laughs> Papa John's fan, so i got to go with Peyton Manning. What doesn't he endorse, though? He's got Papa John's. Right. He's got DirecTV. Mm -hmm. He's got, what else? I mean, He's, he's got like the number one go-to guest host for SNL. I mean, he's a beast. <laughs> he's a monster. He can do everything. He can do no wrong. But why? What is it? The, the, why Maybe. is he crushing Tom Brady in the endorsements department? Maybe he holds his comedy in his neck. He's got a long neck, and it can fill a lot of humor. I have no idea what it is, because he's an odd-looking dude, and usually athletes aren't quite as humorous as he is, but Hillary Clinton could certainly learn a thing or two. Oh, so you think it is? You think it's his sense of humor? Probably. He is funny. I'll give him that. Yeah. Yeah, but he did a great disservice insulting the great American art form. I'm sure, I'm sure you're a big fan of barbershop quartets, John. I, I, love, I love the barbershop quartet. Here's a good... Uh, ancient reference, Heinz, Heinz, and Dad. There's a good one for you. And oh, so I'm, I, that's, I'm even older than you. Okay, so I love the Barbershop Quartet, but I'm about to say the reason that Peyton Manning has more endorsements than Tom Brady is he's married to an American. That's why. He's married to an American. He didn't have to go abroad to find a broad. Uh -huh. That's what I'm mm. saying to you. Hey, you know what? That, you may have hit upon it. I, I didn't even I think have, of that. I have mm. insight. Tom. Yeah, I think Tom Brady is more of the, uh, Joe, it's the luxury goods, isn't it? Tom Brady has, yeah. he has yeah. Ugg boots. Can you picture Peyton Manning putting on Ugg boots? You, you would feel like he made an error in judgment. But when Tom Brady does it, you think, maybe it's me. Maybe. Right. By the way, that's, that's, You're so right. that's the first photo I've seen of Tom Brady where he kind of looked like that horrible... Night of the Living Dead sketch that the court reporter <laughs> yeah. did. Yeah, he looks a little, a little simian there. Oh, I've defended that yeah. artist. I think she, you so know. She captured yeah. some sort of It wasn't that bad. Um, I don't know. The, the strange thing with Peyton, well, first of all, I don't think you should be saying anything bad about barbershops or anything barber, because he's half bald and his head is held on by a thread. His <laughs> spine got, is completely destroyed. He's had that hair for the longest time, oh, hasn't he? I, I just hope after watching this, you realize how foolish you've looked all these years, Tom. What? Uh-oh. He's reaching out to you. Uh -oh. Low blow, low Listen, blow. I think that most people just... Did you see the slow pan Oof. to show the venue that they were singing in? Yes, I have sung in plenty of venues like this. <laughs> yes. That's where, you know, America's the junior high school. That's, that's where we're most welcome. But <laughs> Jedediah, yeah. yes. the thing is, I think most people realize, mm -hmm. as the CEO of the Barbershop Society yes. mentioned, these weren't dominant seventh chords. This wasn't real barbershop. <laughs> oh, anything. okay. Well, you think most people realize they weren't dominant seventh chords <laughs> and they did that deep analysis. I should hope. Look, I like a man with a soft voice and a gentle touch, Tom. I am not impressed by these sports players. I don't know anything about them other than that they're really <laughs> unlikable people. Like, that was mean to say about those guys. I thought they were singing beautifully, and I think there's something to be said for this new wave of masculinity where you don't have to be playing with footballs and, and jacked up on testosterone. You can just sing a nice bedtime song okay, I gotta to get, people I gotta like get, me. I gotta, get, I gotta get behind this. I gotta get behind this. The idea that it is sexier to sing in a barbershop quartet yes. than to be an NFL yes. quarterback. 
That is the kind of America I want right. to live in. Who's singing Me to Sleep at Night? That's Peyton what Manning? I want. No, I don't think so. Listen, One of those guys NFL, would be right by hey, my side. You can buy a, a barbershop quartet if you're an NFL quarterback and sing, and they'll sing you to sleep. So you can have the yeah, ball? of course. What are you, Absolutely. a juggler? Mm. A no, juggler. Listen, John, you don't understand. That's the way the world is going. When you and I were in high school, the big man on campus was still the quarterback. Now it's some nerd. You won't believe the tale these guys are getting. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I hear. Wow. That's what, yeah, because the quarterback is going to blood his knee and the nerd is going to develop an app and sell it to Google for a billion dollars. Yes, the it's women are lined up, right? What happened? Our era, uh, it's, we, we, it slipped by us. This conversation is very uh, <laughs> cisgender centric here, so I'm going to... I'm going to have to opt out for, I don't want to offend any of my Amoeba fans who reproduce a. So you identify as a barbershop quartet I singer? Do not, uh, I do not identify <laughs> as anything to do. I get my hair cut by a Russian guy who smacks me in the head while he's doing it. Like, oh, me oh, too, me oh, too. Lovely. Yes. Yes. Russian guy. He screams into his wife uh, into his cell phone while oh. he's cutting my hair. It's very tense. But mm. the thing is, people can't relate to, pay, uh, to Tom Brady because of the supermodel wife and the unbelievable good looks. And Tom, uh, Peyton Manning makes everybody feel like they could also be a Super Bowl winning quarterback. Mm. That's true. Well, I wish oh we God, I wish we know. could all go back in time because if I was in high school now, watch out. Woo! <laughs>